Hi, this is Phil and Trish from SkiTalk.com, and let's talk about the all-new 2023 Atomic Cloud 12 RevoShock. Cloud 12 RevoShock. <laughs> That's a lot, right? That's a mouthful. I don't, I don't know if I can say that uh, 10 times fast. So this is essentially called the Cloud Q12. Okay. Um, what... It's kind of interesting. We talked about wide, narrow skis. We talk about narrow, wide skis. We talk about what a ski will do for you if you want an all-mountain ski. This is a ski with a giant sweet spot for a lot of people out there that want a ski that will ski groomers really well, but won't end their day too quickly because they want to ski long into when conditions get chopped up. You start seeing little piles and uh, varied conditions. Um, when I skied this, which was Snow Basin, I had a, had a great opportunity to ski top to bottom with it. And I did it a little bit later in the day when things were a little bit more chopped up. So I didn't really get a lot of experience on a fresh groomer, but just the sense I got from it, the grip I got, and the ability to go through those push piles and the varied conditions was pretty darn good. Um, what are we talking about when we say wide, narrow ski, which is what this is, uh, what the category that this is in. The wide, narrow ski is some, for somebody who wants a groomer ski, but also wants it to do a lot more, wants to be able to go off piste a little bit and wants it to handle those very conditions. Um, this particular ski comes with the uh, system binding, which is the Strive M10 binding. Um, it's got a 13.6 radius, which is pretty darn quick for a ski in this category. At 84 millimeters underfoot um, and a 166 length, it's just got a huge sweet spot. And I know you have been on the men's version, which we also have a video for that. Yep. Um, and, you know, what What are, what are your thoughts, Phil, in this category? Well, I think a lot of what we're seeing in this 80 millimeter range, which I refer to as a melting pot, where, again, we've got these narrow wide skis and wide narrow skis. In this range here, we definitely have some of the technology that's, that Atomic brings over from their race skis, and that's the Revo Shop. Mm -hmm. And what that does, that allows that ski to stay quiet on the snow without neutering the ski and keeps it when you want that ski to be very reactive and solid on the snow it's there for you but it doesn't take the personality away from the ski and again coming from the old race uh, win on sunday sell on monday mm -hmm. so we have some of that technology there i love the idea of scaling sizes mm -hmm. and that's something atomic has been a proponent of for years mm -hmm. so this one here with the dimensions that you said in the 166 when we come down to the shorter lens we've got a different width in the, both the tip mm -hmm. the waist and the tail so whether a woman is five foot one or five foot eight, five foot 10, they're going to get the same experience with that ski on the snow. Yeah. And, and that's one of the things I really appreciate. And you talked about the Revo shock and the confidence building, you know, you and I both know at the end of a ski test day and things are getting a little bit chopped up. If you can get into something that's a little bit quieter, gives a little bit life left back into your legs without, um, toning down the ski too much because there's definitely some of that great atomic feel and it was really responsive. That 13.6 meter yeah. radius is actually, it, it, it was confidence inspiring. It was quick to turn. And at the end of the day, it gave me a little bit of life back yeah. in my legs. And the word that you really, that you used, I think is the most important is confidence. Yeah. And, and you want that ski that's going to do for you, especially if you get some adverse conditions, uh, you want a ski that's going to help you get out of it instead of punishing you. And for a skier that's looking to uh, increase their skill set, this is a really good way to it's go. It's a perfect way to go. If it's somebody who's on the fence, I've been um, learning how to ski, I'm for sure an intermediate upper intermediate i want to get something that goes a little bit off piece but i really spend most of my time on groomers that's this ski yeah and what i like about both of these skis the men's version and the women's version these are really good skis for east coasters mm -hmm. that they're on the hard snow and once that snow turns to sugar towards the end of the day that's where these skis are really good and quite frankly if you if and when you do take that trip west it's a, it's great, a great ski. ski yeah for sure so that's, I like both these skis, value price point on these, 
under $900 with the binding, tremendous value. That's a great value. And and the binding that comes with it is really a, a good binding. Yeah. They went lightweight on this Strive collection, what? which what that does, it makes the ski again a little more reactive. It doesn't slow you down in those in those edge to edge situations mm -hmm. that you're looking for. Yet it's grip walk, so it's gonna work in every aspect you're gonna want it to work in. And we'd like to thank uh, Ski Pro in Reno, Nevada for supplying these skis mm -hmm. here so we can do these videos because in the end, skiing, skiing is, is fun. fun. To read the full review of this ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the reviews tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to see future ski reviews along with other ski related content. And also please add any thoughts to the comments section below. And of course, follow skitalk.com on all social media channels. No scenes from Hot Tub Time Machine were reenacted during the production of this video.